Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll continue talking about SharePoint views. In the previous demonstration, I created a new filtered view with the name 2010. In that view, you see I only see documents from the year 2010. So that's, of course, the same thing, exactly the same thing as doing a, just a filter, a dynamic filter here on the year column. But creating an additional view for that has the benefit of um, making it permanent and also easier uh, to link. So when you have a view, you should really think about how you want to present the information. And one thing that gets rather repetitive here is that all these documents are modified by me and yesterday at 1.52 a.m. and uh, this has the same year. So if I modify this view and just deselect the columns that are very repetitive, the year modified and modified by, that don't really add any information, then you see I get this view, which is much more informative. I know that it's the documents from 2010 and I don't care about who modified it. And these are the types of documents. So that's something that you really can do with view. So I'm going to create another view now. I'm going to create a grouped view. And of course I do that again by clicking on this button here, create view. And I'm going to start with a standard view again. And just call that grouped. And in this case, I'm going to find the group section here. And group by the um, type of document. Actually, let's start with the year first and then by the type of documents. There we go. As you see, there are two levels there. You can't do deeper nesting than that. Two is the maximum. So that's an important limitation. And you really don't want to display deeper levels than that. You could, of course, do a custom UI for that, but it gets complicated rather fast. Now I'm just going to click OK. And as you see now, I get two that are not uh, tagged properly, and then I see the others. So there you see if the user is coming from a file system where this is the way it's presented. So if you, you know, imagine how this would look in a file system, you would have root folders for each year, and then you would have subfolders for each type of document. So that would be uh, at least four times three, 12 folders here, but rather complex. And um, here you have everything in one document library and you can still see all the information. So if you compare that, this is actually beneficial. In one thing, you can have the different views, of course, which the file system doesn't give. Also, you have the numbers here. I can see directly without going into the folders how many quotes there are from 2010 and so on. So that's a major benefit. The other major benefits that as compared to the file system are, of course, the alerts and the version history of each document. Those are really powerful things that you don't get in the file system. Thank you for watching this demonstration.